Hello. I've put together a simple demo in Unity in an afternoon. A uh, very Star Control TUI. A lot of you may remember Star Control. And this is similar to how Star Control played. With more modern 2D space shooters, you have the problem that... Um, well, it's not necessarily a problem. You have the game mechanic that your ship is very customizable, and it's all about choosing which weapons to put on and which shields to put on and upgrading your engines. And, you know, filling your ship's cargo space and that sort of stuff. I didn't really like that. Um, I think it's okay once in a while, but I wanted a game which... Uh, the, the strength of the old Star Control games is that you couldn't customize the ships. There were a few iconic ships, you know, a dozen iconic ships. They each have their different ways of playing, and which ships you were best at uh, determined what you would bring with you on your fleet. So you could m customize your fleet, but you couldn't customize the individual ships. And so that's what I kind of was going for with this game. Uh, I've built an easy ship creation system uh, using, uh, you know, just you fill in basic uh, stuff, like, uh, you know, the model and, uh, and put on guns and that sort of stuff. And it's very straightforward, but it's not something the player will have access to. It's for the developer to create his own ships. So I've decided that the complexity is going to be in uh, uh, the, the fleet and in the battlefield. And I can show you that right now um, in that I can't shoot this guy. Why can't I shoot him? Because he's actually on a different layer of the battlefield. I'm going to restart so that you can have both on the same screen at the same time here. And since he's on a different layer of the battlefield, I can't hit him until I go down to his layer using the dive button. So now I can hit him fine. And of course I can go back up and try and ram him. Ram! And shoot this guy. So if you have a fleet, you'll have the fleet fighting on multiple layers, um, and you'll... Uh, you'll get to, to choose which layer you're going to be fighting on, and there will be various kinds of effects that, uh, that happen on one layer or not another, or perhaps ships that can attack you more easily when you're between layers, or any number of other fun things you can do with it. And in addition, there would be a basic way to give your allies commands, because right now this is entirely a left-handed game, uh, WSAD in space. So I have a whole bunch of free keys that I can use for... Uh, commands, um, you know, press a button to tell people to attack, that sort of thing. Uh, now, I haven't really decided, you know, I haven't really built anything more than this simple prototype, but I think it's worth remembering that customization of your ship is not always the best idea. There's a lot to be said for having iconic ships that have been carefully chosen and carefully made to do interesting things. There's also a lot to be said for putting together tech demos in an afternoon. Um, that's it. That is all I needed to say.